Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to yet again part 5 of the Crim 6 vs Scump drama and a Scump response which we rarely see in this case so far. It's really been villain Crim time and time again and not really a direct response either but he does in a recent NRG video and interview as well. They're going to start doing a series called the Sunday sit downs with NRG players and of course their first one has to be the one the only the King Scump himself. He does talk about that drama and I think in terms of production quality the interview was not so sound but in terms of content the Grady, uh, the Fortnite content creator NRG Grady did the interview himself in terms of content it was a great great interview production maybe not so much but the full thing will be linked down below for all of you guys I highly recommend you watch the entire thing I just took a small two minute segment out of this because the Crim 6 versus Scump drama it does continue for at least one of those members that being Crim 6 but the non-responder throughout the entire thing has been Scump himself and I think the way he worded this well is certainly why a lot of people out there are on his side about the entire argument he calls it childish he says at the the end of the day hey we're playing call of duty we're not fighters we're not playing some hardcore game or sport out there we are playing call of duty and it's begun to get very childish he doesn't need to take to twitter like crim6 does but here is his full response which i really thought was well worded and it just i'm not trying to take sides here i love both guys but it really does make you love scump all the more do you think that you're gonna get subtweeted this season every time crim6 has a good practice Oh, dude, I've gotten subtweeted already so many times, and it's 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 warranted in a sense, you know, like, obviously, it's like a bad breakup, you know, but I have always kept shit close to the chest. Uh, I don't really tweet about, like, my problems. I don't really need the public to, to sit there and, like, white knight me and stuff. I don't need that. Like, I don't need that pity. Attention. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't need the attention. Like, I don't need affirmation. that. Affirmation. Affirmation, yeah. Like, dude, we won so many tournaments together, and... Me and Matt were the best statistically, and Damon was the dirty worker. And Krim, like, I mean, like, he did his part, obviously, <laughs> but, like, we won him so much money in so many tournaments. And obviously, again, he did his part, but, like, we were the ones that were really frying, like, frying. And I just don't get it, you know? Yeah. Like, it was time to move on and let it be at that. Like, let it be in the past. Don't be... It's, it's literally like high school drama. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm past that at this point. Like, that's why I don't, I don't respond on text. I respond verbally. Like, I'll respond on stream to something that yeah, concerns that. me. But I'm not going to go on Twitter and sit there and, like, nitpick stuff and try to, like, get, I'm just not going to do that. If you have beef with me, fine. Like, try and beat me at the tournament. There's no need to sit here and try and play, play it out like an MMA fighter. Like, you're not Conor <laughs> McGregor, bro. Like. We're playing Call of Duty at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> talk to your girlfriend. It's like, that's what I do. I talk to Isabel when yeah. I have problems. I like sit here and I'm like, I can't believe this. I can't believe he's talking like this. Like, And even further, the way he pretty much blatantly says uh, Crim6 was, you know, the lesser fruit of the bunch on terms of their old optic roster. I would even, if I was a clickbaiter out there, I would say, you know, that was Scump pretty much saying, Crim, you were the worst player on the team. We carried you to titles. We carried you to chips and a lot of prize money out there. Why are you complaining now? And at the end of the day as well, the final clip I'll show you guys, he just says, hey, at the end of the day, this is work. This is business. Yes, rosters will change if rosters do not win. And I thought that was kind of the, the dead in the coffin here guys of what scum's gonna do in terms of responses he's not going to respond he might talk about it from time to time so far we've only seen a 12 second response on a twitch stream and he really did not you know respond much further than that we're not going to see full-on scump responses and at this rate we just don't need to because he is down to business and when it comes to business you have to win and i think that you know people want to see that wwe style right. of faking drama and right. creating creating storylines like People want to see that, and I get that, but it gets like played out to a certain point. Right. It goes on for that long. It'd be draining too, I'm sure, just like leaking into personal relationships and whatnot. Oh, everyone does it. It's like people will just drop like bombs on you, and it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm asleep. Like, what are you? Yeah. You sit there, <laughs> subtweet me. I'm in there, I'm sleeping. I'm like, it's, it's just, it's, it's dumb. It's corny. Um, it's played out, honestly. Yeah. And if he wants to do it, that's cool. But I just, like knowing at the end of the day that I can sit here and be happy with myself that I'm not stooping to that level of yeah. just childish, childish stuff. Like exactly, people can blame me for dropping whoever, but at a certain point, it's a business. I'm trying my best to win, and it wasn't working. We won one event in two years, uh, and it is what it is. So, be salty. Don't be salty. It's up to you. I love it.
But as always, guys, I will always be back here breaking it down, especially between these two old friends of Optic. Yes, it's been crazy to see so far throughout this part four, part five, as well as, you know, you guys in the comment section down below are certainly taking your sides. It's great to see people siding with Krim, siding with Skump, and of course, for very opposite reasons in this, Krim will continue to be the villain. If you guys watched the entire video as well, it's even Skump calling on Hastro, of course, the Envy owner who's also recently responded about Mutex and his kicking for Dallas Empire. That was an entirely different story in itself. You know, he actually goes on to allude to the fact that Hastro is probably telling his players, hey, stir up some drama, do this, get the views, which I'm not going to blame the guy for, but I think it's a very curious take by Skump as well. As this drama does continue, I'm sure it'll be Crim6 continuing to prod the old horse and cattle, that being Skump. Will Skump respond any further? I have no idea. When it comes down to it, though, this gets me all the more excited. No matter who you are in this case, no matter who you side with, I think a lot of us can agree. This just makes me all the more excited to see those first inaugural matchups and to see Dallas take on the likes of NRG, or take on Chicago, I should say, or take on on the new LA Optic because so many rivalries are forming and Crim6 is doing a great job continuing that rivalry. Skump seems to be fed up and, and maybe that's what Crim6 wants. Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving break. For those of you guys who are actually celebrating, I'm currently at home with my family. Thank you guys for allowing me to take a quick vacation. I did pre-record a bunch of videos for all of you guys and I think some great videos at that. So until then, I'll be back here Monday breaking down new news, but take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all back here sometime soon.